Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I'm revisiting this uh, little transmitter I made a couple of weeks ago and put a video up. So basically, it's a very basic um, bare bones AM transmitter that's based off of a two pin crystal here. And so, uh, if I want to change my frequency, I have to pull the crystal out and put a different one in. And uh, so, it's got the Colpitz oscillator, and then a mixer circuit, and then an amplifier. And then this little swirly part is the antenna. And so basically all you do is you give it power. And in this case I'm using 9 volts. You can, for the Colpitz oscillator, you can do between 5 and 12. And then for amplifying and everything, that's kind of up to you. Um, and then you just pipe it some audio. I have it plugged into my laptop's headphone jack right here. Um, it, and obviously it doesn't do stereo, it just does mono. And then you connect the audio ground to the common ground of the rest of the circuit and it works fine so the only problem was if you remember from the last video is that the signal was extremely weak and I could barely get it a couple inches away and not only that but the audio itself was very muffled and hard to understand so I made some improvements to the circuit and uh, I will, I'd like to make a video about it so that it, whoever's interested can uh, build a better transmitter than I did before. So I'll show you some of the improvements. So you see, there's three transistors here. I'm gonna focus on this. I'm gonna well, I guess I'm gonna talk about the one in the middle here. So that one is the mixer circuit. So it takes the uh, oscillation from the crystal generated by the uh, Colpitz oscillator. And it uses that to modulate my audio coming in here. And that and it amplitude modulates it, so it makes AM. And so eventually, so essentially, the output is an RF signal. So anyway, that was working earlier before, but it was extremely weak. So what I did was I looked at a circuit online, and I applied some changes. So first to the connection going between the output output of the oscillator and the input of the mixer so that connection there between there I tied it to ground using a 1 mega ohm resistor and then the output of the mixer going into the amplifier that's also tied to ground uh, using 3.3 K and you can see I got three resistors here and that's because I don't have an exact 3.3 K resistor so I just added up a couple together um, and then it also called for a uh, 10 microfarad capacitor, which is this electrolytic one you can see here. Um, and I used electrolytic because that's what I had sitting around. And with electrolytic, you should mine the polarity because there is a plus end and a minus end. Um, but I didn't know which way to put it in, so I just put it in a random way, and it hasn't exploded or malfunctioned, so... I don't know if the polarity matters or if I just got lucky the first time, but um, and then on the on the amplifier transistor, this one on the far left, uh, that I also applied some of those changes too with uh, resistors going to ground. I didn't add a capacitor, but I'll probably add one in the future. And then the output of that just goes to my little antenna here, and I've done some testing where I run it as it is now and then I unplug the new modifications so it's like the old circuit and with the new modifications the signal is a lot stronger I used to be able to go only a couple of inches with a very weak and rough sounding audio but now you can see it works just fine You can see that even all the way over here, the signal is not too great, but I'm still able to pick it up. The old design couldn't do that.
Now it may also help that my laptop, I have the volume cranked up all the way on the headphone jack, and I think it amplifies the audio a bit better than when I was using my phone last time. But either way, you can tell that the range has been increased quite a bit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope this, this might inspire you to create your own radio or recreate this one, whatever you want to do. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.